Hey guys, EMU coach, VIP, uh, 5.4.8. Also, we're probably two here. Whoop, Jesus scared the shit out of me there. Uh, they're fighting just a random Morgan that appear. Uh, Brill is a fucked up place, by the way. These guys aren't supposed to appear unless you're on the quest. There's Easter eggs out here um, for the Easter event, and there's Christmas trees because it is still winter's uh, veil. Whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. And as you can also see, it is. We're almost to Christmas. And actually, there's a fishing extravaganza on Christmas because it's on a Sunday this year. I didn't. I don't remember this event running till New Year's. Anyway, today we're doing more PvP, and the PvP battleground of today is Alterac Valley. Uh, I am nervous how this one's going to run considering when we did this in the single-player project, it failed. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, when we did Alterac Valley in that, um, it crashed. So very disappointing. Um, but we're going to wait, of course. Jesus, this is the shit. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so I'll give it here a few minutes, and then I'll jump cut to when, you know, where, where we're supposed to be. So, stay put. Alright, and we're back. So it, it took a minute for Alltrack Valley to come up, actually. Like, it almost took, like, three minutes to find a group. Um, we can only hope that we'll actually have a full raid. Because, remember, this BG is supposed to be 40 v 40. So if I see less than 40, you know it's going to be shitty. So we'll see what happens here. Because um, at least in the single player project, we did get a full 40v40 team. But right now, it's not looking that good. Uh, no, not at all. In fact, according to this, there's only 10 of us here. Uh, so this could suck. Uh, which is insane, to be honest, because, again... Um, the 5,000 player cap is on, so we might have the smallest Alterac Valley group on the planet, which probably means Isle of Conquest will be exactly the same, a fucking 10v10 of all things, which is ridiculous because Raid Finder can actually get you a full 20-man team or whatever Raid Finder was back in these days. Uh, no, it looks like for the next minute we're going to be stuck with a 10v10, which means that this fight is going to be very boring. Because remember something, Alterac Valley is a 40v40 fight, not 10v fucking 10. I also need to get a new pet. I've been using the spider for too long. I gotta get more, because I can support more pets. What spec am I? Am I a Beastmaster? I'm a sur oh, fucking survival of all things. Uh, no, it looks like we're stuck with a 10v10 here. This is not gonna be that enjoyable. Because remember, this BG is like 20 minutes, like standard, but it's a 10v10. Like that, that's gonna be boring real quick. Oh, there we go. Oh, whoa, well, there we go. Alright, they, they were just yanking my chain. Uh, we got 20 on our side and 15 on the Alliance. They were just yanking my chain. We're still behind. Oh, no, we're still... I like it how it had to wait for the last 10 seconds so I can bitch about it, and then it's like it heard me. Uh, we almost have an entire group. This is, I guess, I don't know. I'm going to make the assumption they're trying to make it realistic. So you know how it's like when you... Well, that's not true, though, because when you join a BG, everybody usually joins instantly. Look at this, guys. I actually have a mount. Wow, this is insanely loud. Well, I can tell you one thing. This does feel like a actual Ultrac Valley game. Oh, you have the reinforcements now. I thought that, I used to think they had a time limit for this back in the day. Wait, we actually have a 40 v 40 BG. It's funny because it doesn't look like 40 people. Uh, so far, this isn't lagging, and hopefully the server doesn't crash. Um, I think that's what happened in the single player project. The server crashed. And I think my boys are up front. So one thing I gave this repack credit for is that unlike the single player project, I can bring my own bot teammates from my party into this. And they don't, uh, like, follow me and stay glued to me and do nothing. It's like the programming for the BG takes over, and they go off to do their own thing. Because Tanky and them are already up ahead. I'm going to make the assumption both teams are going to go after the captains of the BG. So I'm going to assume that's where we're all going. Um, it has been ages since I've played this game legit to where I've actually played a real game of Alterac Valley. I'm not even going to lie. Um, Alterac Valley was still one of my BGs I didn't like to be honest um and it's also mainly because i was always a horde player i've had maybe two alliance characters i've ever played in my entire lifetime and in all truth I, since i'm horde isla conquest and all track valley were always the bgs you would never have on when you were playing as horde because a uh, horde always lost these bgs um so yeah wow there's a lot of paladins up here uh who where, who is the bad guy in there oh boy well, here we go. Oops, wrong guy. Oh, that guy's got a cool uh, trinket. Uh, oh, there's Lamp. Lamp, how you doing? Oh, it's a war zone out here. Oh, a little bit of lag. So many people just got an honorable kill. 
Oh, now this. Now this is awesome. This feels like a proper battle. Oh, now I could actually waste time. Well, I've said this, I think, to some people in my Discord. I've private messaged people about this. People will ask me every now and again. I, I, sometimes I hate, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't like when people treat me as an expert in stuff like this, like in repacks. Because uh, I'm not. You know, I don't design repacks. I don't know how they work, truthfully, underneath. But when people ask me questions of which ones I like the most and stuff like that, I will admit, when it comes to playing PvP, I will prefer EMU Coach over any of the other ones. That and probably Light's Hope, because the AI in these are actually really good for PvP. Except for Strand of the Ancients, it's really shit. Oops. But it's the idea that, like, this is, this feels like a real battleground right now. Because we're all fighting in the middle here. Uh, and look, people are dying, it's not like one-sided. Uh, this guy's throwing glaives at us. I suck at the game, so it's very accurate. But it's the idea that, you know, this feels legit. And, like, this is the type of thing that I wouldn't mind getting alts together to do. Like, I... Well, that's what I do. I, I get multiples of my characters together, and I have them all come in here to play. So what I might end up doing soon is I'm planning on making more characters and maybe getting, like, bigger parties together and stuff. Oop. I want to do more raiding in this, but the problem is that the PvE in this is the worst part. Remember, last update, update 3, which is the main one that's still active, the only changes they made to this was they made it that the AI were improved, but they didn't really do much PvE improvements from the looks of it. So the bots are better, which probably is the main... It's probably the main reason why PvP is a lot better, because they improved the bots. Uh, what's going on? Uh, Belinda's talking... Oh, they killed our general, so that's where they probably went off to. Uh, we gotta do something about this fight we're having out here. Uh, the bunker. Oh, well, we're, we're catching a bunker. So it's cool, but let me check the map real quick. Oh, <gasps> so unlike... Oops, unlike Single Player Project, the AI don't all go into one place. Alright, EMU coach, you win. I give you guys, I give your programmers a lot of credit. They actually, it's very obvious, they worked hard on making these bots. The fact that in a Alterac Valley game, not all the AI follow one path, and they actually go to, like, multiple places, to me, this makes it so much cooler. Because in Single Player Project, all the AI go to one place, one big trash pack. Here, it seems like everybody's actually doing things, and I just realized we're losing. So this is getting a little too accurate for my, uh, taste. <laughs> Okay, there we go. We're actually doing pretty good. We're not taking that many casualties. Is this bunker... Let me see. Let me turn on my aspect of the cheetah here. Huge fight over there. I'm going to bypass that. I think this is Belinda. I see some of my boys in here fighting, so I'm going to assume it's a healer. And somebody else fighting Belinda, which is amazing. If that's the case. I'm going to run in here and see if I can help. I can hear them fighting. Uh, oh my god, it actually is. Okay, I'm going to help out my team. Uh, this might be the real reason why they're taking so much stuff. Because so many of our guys are in here fighting. Uh, which isn't good, because we kind of need everybody to be aware. Uh, Alright, we did it. We killed the general. Uh, I don't remember how many reinforcements you lose for that. Oh, they lost a lot for that. Alright, well now that we killed her, more of our team is available. Remember, the way you win this is you have to, you have to weaken down the enemy reinforcements by killing people or by destroying the bunkers. Um... I don't know if I'm going to jump in. I, I mean, people want to see the fight, so I'm going to jump in. Um, I know I've already said that this... Oh, look at this barrage. I know I've stated that this um, this repack is broken. You know, i got to rephrase that. This repack is very broken when it comes to PvP, uh, PvE. PvP? Oh, Jesus. If you want a good Miss of Pandaria experience with PvP with bots, I, I will admit it right now after just seeing what I'm seeing here. There is no better experience than than this. I have to admit, compared to the single player project, this Alterac Valley game is incredibly accurate and it feels good. Uh, we got the shit kicked out of us and it's not looking good for us here. We were pushed back pretty far. We have not made it far at all in the field. <laughs> Look at that rogue. I will definitely be making more characters in the future for PvP. I'll be 100% honest. It looks like nobody wants to take the mine. Well, there's an idea. So, there you go, EMU Coach developers, if you see this. Because I know EMU Coach watches my videos. They are Their main channel is sub to mine. Uh, if EMU Coach sees this, I would say make it that the bots in Alterac Valley can go to the mine. Because it doesn't look like anybody is. No, everybody is bypassing it. Uh, we. It looks like our team did get their shit kicked in, though. Um, because they got more graveyards. Oopsie-daisy. 
but not only that, but um, our entire team here is trying to move here. Oh, look at this. We're capping this one. Uh-oh. All right. This, this is going to be a big fight right here for this bunker. Yep, they're gonna they're going in there to uncontest it. Uh, we recapture this graveyard. Oh, this is it. Yep, it's gonna be a big ass fight because the rest of the alliance are coming down the hill. Oh, whoops. Uh, I got a spider. Go, spider, go. Uh, where the hell did this guy come from? Uh, uh oh, these guys are coming to attack me. These guys are coming to attack me. Camouflage. Sneak away. I'm getting hit by fire. I think. Uh, I don't know how many healers we have. Wow, there's a lot happening here. This feels like a real fight, though. Look at all this visual effects the game is lagging a little bit oh boy this is like the real deal i'm shooting at a shaman i think on this hillside uh, oh he's dead i might change to beastmaster uh, after this though since this, this isn't this is back in the day when the game was still somewhat difficult so you actually needed um i don't even remember the name of them because i've never used them in the modern game to change your spec Oh, no, you actually had to go to a trainer back in these days. Miss of Pandaria was the first time you didn't need to purchase abilities anymore. This is when you got everything for free. Uh, Cataclysm got rid of the ranks for abilities, if I'm correct. But you had to pay for abilities still. Um, they changed it in this one. Oh, man, this is intense. I can't even tell who's winning. Uh, I don't see... I see a few people dead on our side. Just shooting the barrage in the crowd that is the best way to do it. Spider stunned somebody. Uh, there we go. All right, nice job. I think we won this fight. Oh, yeah, we did. Look at all the fucking bodies, dude. We won that fight, though. How's this bunker looking? Did we cap it? Uh, I think it's still contested. I'm going to head up top and make sure they don't take it. So I'm going to do my aspect of the cheetah so I can haul ass up there. Do, 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 Okay. Okay. All right. I think I got to this uh, bunker in time. Uh, hopefully my team doesn't come up here because I'm already uh, saving it. Boom. And I always forget when you save it, you get the guardians, even though they're pretty much worthless. It feels weird getting healed in a BG if that makes any sense. Because I played a lot of BGs, and the amount of people that actually heal you is slim to none. Uh, yeah, let me just check the map real quick. Some of our guys are assaulting the enemy positions. Um... We're still pushing our way up here. Okay. All right. It looks like, from the looks of it, we're picking off stragglers. Yeah, that's what it definitely is. Oh, I just got stunned by a binding shot. Pretty amazing that that bot planted it right there. We are decimating them, though, here. They uh, they stand no chance to us here. So they might as well just turn around and leave. Okay. It is really cool to see monks, to be 100% honest. Uh, because I don't think... Well, because there's not many bot repacks or bots in general that work past uh whatchamacallit oh you need some help brother i got you i just want to have traps in this yeah i'm a survivalist traps is like my gimmick oh this might actually the bots might actually nope they're not dumb they are not dumb they're like players i just heard the sound of getting punched in the head uh, oh i just missed the respawn Okay. The oh that's a oh he has a that's a legendary I think he has with the the crows. The idea is that since the bots are actually all doing different things, makes this like I said more real. Oh boy, I think that was Alliance dogs over there. Yeah, it is. But that's what I like the most is that everybody's kind of going off doing their own thing. Which uh, makes more sense. Let me just take a minute here to get some uh, abilities I obviously missed on my bars. So, like, my silencing shot, which we still had back in these times, um, next to my revived pet. I'll put that there. Um, let's see. Man, there used to be a lot of cool shit that hunters had back in these days. Yeah. Uh, it's unreal how this stuff no longer exists in the game. Uh, Master's Call. I think they still have multi-shot. I'm missing... Well, because you want to know what it is. I played the modern game so much that I forgot half the abilities. Oh, see? Like, I forgot about Stampede. And back in these days, Stampede was you had uh, all your pets come out. It's not like how it is now. All right, we want the trap launcher on. We want traps. Yeah, and yeah, since I'm a survivalist, I got a ton of traps. Oh, man. These were the days, man, where you had all these cool abilities unlike today in the game. All right. That... Oh, boy. Uh, all right, I'm going to stick with the pack. Yeah, no, no, fuck that. I'm going to stick with my team here. We're going to push on offense here. 
Uh, we have to. We have to attack. Oh wow, my team is just clearing a path up the way. But the problem is, is that uh, while they're doing that, watch what call it is also happening. Um, the alliance are moving behind us, pretty much. Uh, there we go. Hit him with all of that. Silencing shot. Boop. You're not shooting any of that. What are you doing? Just did. Uh, I don't have any other pets. I need the. Uh, I need the thing that makes it. Uh, the watch call it. There's a thing that makes it a glyph that you can have all your one pet show up. I don't have that, so. Okay, I just gotta shoot all my traps out. I missed the trap launcher, dude. The trap launcher was so good. Because you had the bombs, you had the snakes that would poison people. I'm getting hit with an earthquake trying to get out of it. Okay, there you go. Enjoy that. I'm probably gonna get hit in the back, to be honest. Boop. Okay, ow. Wow. Oh, wow, I got destroyed. Wasn't getting healed, that was the problem. Where am I? What graveyard is this? Uh, there's a big fight right now for a graveyard that apparently we were fighting over. I didn't even know. A uh, bunch of our guys are fighting for more territory. We have a small group that's making their way through their base. Uh, which pretty much we're going to be stopping them from doing. So we're at the Frostwall uh, graveyard here. So we're going to push up. Right now, a large group of our team is pushing hardcore. But the enemies are going to do the same thing to us right now. We let them. Yeah, actually, no. They're getting fucked, actually, right now, big time. Because while they're doing all of this shit to us... There we go. Let's move the map over here. Uh, while they're doing all this shit to us, our team is in their base doing the same things to them. And when they die, they have to respawn all the way back at the Snowfall Graveyard. Uh, we can stop them here. That's the thing. Oh, hello. Uh, I need my uh, pet, please. Okay, go get him. I think I just silenced the warrior, but we're not going to talk about that. Linux, rush. Uh, serpents. Stun my foes. And then chain him in ice. I just got shot with something. And then shoot the fire. Boom. Bang. Boom. Somebody stepped on that. Ow. Hey, knock it off. And barrage. Wow, there's a lot of alliance in here. Uh, no, this is not looking good. I'm just... I'm hitting him with as many dots as I can. Intimidate him, please. Oh, God. Dire beast. Explosive shot. Okay, master's call. There you go. Thank you. That actually saved me. I'm getting healed, actually, right now, believe it or not. Okay, I hear a Fisto Might out there. Oh, God. Uh, stupid fucking monster thing. Uh, man, the, uh, we're, my, we have another group of guys out there doing God's work out there. This is actually, oh, damn it. This is actually, believe it or not, a lot of fun. And it's really disappointing because, well, it's not disappointing. This is really good because this actually redeems a lot of the problems that this repack has. Because to be fair, this place is working really well. Oh, the Heralds say things. The AI do really well. I mean, look at this. They're doing their own thing. It's great, to be honest. Uh, oh, they took a graveyard. What graveyard was that? All right, so they took one of these out there. Uh, I mean, we the, the, the disadvantage the Alliance has right now is that a bulk of our force is spawning here, and the other bulk of it is spawning by their base or is fighting in their base where none of them really are. Look, they're coming back down the path. They did so much damage. Um, and it looks like here we may have secured this area. So I'm going to go up the tower here. And I'm going to make sure we keep this tower. Right now, it's anybody's match right now. Because they are running out of reinforcements, but they're only 30. Um, they're only like 30 behind us. I went the wrong way again. Okay. They ain't taking this tower. I'm going to make sure we keep it. Okay. Yeah, dude. We're, we have like every one of their towers being contested. Okay. The tower point was taken by the horde. Oh, I fell. Uh, somebody out here will heal me. Massive fight right in front of us. There we go. Oh, damn it, he died. Okay. Oh, they're getting fucked up now. Okay, there you go. No more uh, no more casting for you. Okay. Oh, he turned into a bear for a second. There you go. Enjoy that. Enjoy the serpents. The sting of my venom. There's a big-ass spider. Somebody summoned a dire beast. Oh, whoops. Durr. I got my fucking watch call it on. Uh, I didn't mean to shoot him with that. I wanted to shoot an actual guy. There's a fucking watch call it out there. Stupid ass uh, gnome. Stun him. Okay, you'll feel the sting of my fire. Okay, slow him down. Barrage! He's getting healed, the little bastard. Oh, I just got hit by... I'm getting hit by Death Knight real quick. Oh, he's really getting... Uh, what's the word? He is really getting healed. Hey, back off, bastards. Okay. Oh, hello. Who are you? Dead. <laughs> We are making our rounds through these guys. We, do, we need to capture a graveyard that's close by. That will stop these pricks from showing up. Uh, and it, oh, and it's right in front of us. All we have to do is contest it, and that's what my that's what I'm going to do. 
I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in there. Oh, that doesn't matter. The team is pushing up. Also, another little thing that's pretty nice. Light's Hope had this problem. I need to check if Light's Hope has a new version. It had a problem where uh, hunters and stuff wouldn't use... Um, they wouldn't use uh, pets and stuff. Or, like, uh, warlocks wouldn't use pets. Okay, we gotta kill the NPCs here. Alright, while they're doing that, I'm... Oh! I was gonna try and contest the graveyard, but I ain't doing that anytime soon. Alright, I lured the enemies out into open combat. Oh, they're gonna chase me. Oh, no. Uh, God. Master's Call, come help me. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so dead. Oh, I'm totally dead. I'm just gonna throw my serpents on them. And my fire. Okay, well... Oh, I'm doing damage at least. Oh, I gotta kill, I think. Okay, how are we looking? Did the rest of our team roll back up? Oh, most of them did. Most of our team looks like we came back to collide in the middle here. And continue the fight. The enemy's base is still basically under our control. Uh, Still doing okay, though. Oh, man. That's some good orange juice from Snapple Apple. So tasty. <clears throat> Five seconds. The Alliance team is running out of reinforcements. All right, good stuff. Let's roll. We are kicking ass out here. Oh, look, the, like, the time of day here is changing. It's starting, like, the sun's starting to set here. Okay, we're actually whittling their reinforcements down a lot. Uh, we've captured a lot. We've held a lot of territory. Right now, the fight... Oh, wow, we have the graveyard in their base. You know what that means? Any horde member who dies in their base respawns in their base. So that's really good for us. Uh, they're capturing the graveyards behind them and slowly pushing down. If we can take this graveyard here, we will significantly cut their forces off. Yeah, like, big time. Look at all the bodies in the road. All right. See how everybody's fighting right now? I'm jumping in for the flag. If I can contest it, they won't be able to respawn here. Okay, the AI are simple, unfortunately. They are one-track mines. So now, boom, no more respawning. We, gotta, we just got to hold the flag now. Ah, uh, don't shoot him. Shoot him. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Eat that, eat that, eat that. You don't like those arrows, do you? Okay. Not the wild imps. Not any of these guys. There we go. That's what I wanted. Shoot that bitch. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Now stun her. And let the serpents feel the sting of their venom. And then feel the burn of the fire. Okay, there we go. We are nailing them now. Boink! Oh, no more uh, fire for you. Okay. Oh, dude, we're doing good. With this graveyard contested, they can't spawn here. Or at least they can't spawn right here. Okay. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting shot up. Okay, let me just hit them all as much as I can. Let me, uh, let me shoot some ice out there to slow those guys down. Let me uh, hit. Let me also hit them. Eh, fuck it. Let me just hit them with the fucking snakes too. Oink. And then let me. Uh, oh, hey, lamp. And then let me hit them with the fire as well. Okay. Oh, Jesus. There's a lot going on out here. Dire beast. Assist me. Multi shot. Boom. Oh, multi shot. Boom. Oh, hey. What's this fucking moonkin doing right here? I should tame you because you're nothing but a beast. Lince rush. Somebody's draining his life. Oh, he changed to a bear for a second there. Okay. There was a gear set, I think, either in this time period or it was in Warlords of Draenor. That Cobra Shot had a chance to summon a serpent to help you in the fight. And it was really cool. Multi-shot. Pew, pew. Hey! We actually won! 22-minute fight. So it only took three minutes. According to my timer, it only took three minutes to find a uh, the amount of people we needed. Oh. <laughs> that is the best way to end this. Well, as you saw, Alterac Valley worked and then crashed on exit, which is fine because we got to experience the whole battle. Um, even though it crashed, I'd still say it's totally worth it. Uh, that was a hell of a good time. Till next time, guys.